in Ohio Country Today, brought to you in part by the following. Koenig Equipment, Allen Davis Insurance Agency, True Point Cooperative, Brumbaugh Law, the Ohio Soybean Council, the Ohio Corn Growers, and Poet Biorefining. This week in Ohio Country Today, we celebrate the family farm. We take you to the Noop Family Farm in Shelby County. We visit the Ayers Farm in Mechanicsburg, the Moore Family in Woodburn, Indiana, just outside Van Wert, Ohio, and the Pence Family in New Carlisle. We'll have your Caney Care Minute and a Farming Fast Fact. All that and more this week in Ohio Country Today. Most of us struggle with protecting the nest egg we've built. And when you're suddenly faced with providing long-term care for you or a loved one, you need someone now who you can trust to help you keep control of your home, your farm, and your assets. Protecting that nest egg is what we do best. We're Brumball Law Firm. Call us today to schedule a free consultation anywhere, anytime. We'll come to your home, farm, or business to see if we can help. Brumball Law Firm, using Ohio law to protect your assets. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of In Ohio Country Today. This special edition is down here at Sydney, Ohio, but one of our fine sponsors, True Point. And with me now is one of our fine family farmers here in Ohio, the New Family. And we have a very special event that we want to share with you that's taking place here today. Uh, Roger, why don't you tell us about it? Well, uh, back in uh, 1956, when they first opened the uh, elevator here, uh, my step grandfather, Lloyd Noop, uh, delivered the first load of corn to this elevator. And now they've uh, increased the capacity and put in a new grain bend here. And uh, we're uh, bringing out the, one of the first loads to go in the new grain bend. Tell us how exciting it was to, uh, to be a part of this today, knowing that it, it, was, uh, it was your family relations that, that was here first. Well, all together different today and was then. The scales was about fourth the size then as what they are today. And, well, the dumping, of course, the shelled corn and, and had to shell it and cobble corn out there. It, it, a lot of stuff has changed here. Yeah, lots have changed. So how many, how many people in your family are, are working on your farm? What kind of operation do you have? Uh, we have a partnership, just Herschel and I, and uh, our, his uh, grandson, uh, Mac, is helping some uh, when he's not in high school. So, What do you do? What do you raise? Uh, corn and soybeans. And uh, as far as uh, your background is concerned, I mean, anybody else on the farm uh, helping you out? Let's, uh, let's kind of give a plug for everybody. Uh, my wife drives the combine some, uh, uh, mom, she helps deliver us to the fields and, and, uh, has the lunch for us and stuff. So <laughs> pretty, well, you have to be pretty excited, huh? She's, she's kind of a gopher. <laughs> <laughs> she, we need to take us someplace while she come get us or back and forth. Every farming family has one, don't they? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about uh, what it was like for you growing up on the farm back in the day. Oh, uh, I'm uh, 82 years old, and it was a lot different. Sure, then we we milked and hogs and cattle and everything back then, but uh, chickens, dead always. We always had to clean the chicken house out on Saturday because I'd be on school. And it was just a lot of different work. Yeah, now, farm, farms were much more uh, self-sustaining back then, right? Yeah. Now we're just two things, corn and soybeans. Yeah. We used to bail hay half the summer. And that, it was just a lot of work. Well, it's still a lot of work these days. I'm sure you'll attest to that. But tell us what technology has done for you and your family farm. Oh, it's uh, uh, sped things up like harvesting, uh, uh, 
uh, compared to the horse and uh, using horses for everything. Now we everything's mechanical and <laughs> and uh, it's it's just to me made things easier <laughs> than what uh, he had to grow up with. And the new operations like this that that our friends at True Point are putting in probably makes it a lot easier for you to to get your uh, the grain that you produce to market. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, we're very lucky here in this area to have elevators this close and and uh, places to get rid of uh, uh, the corn without having to have a lot of uh, transportation costs. Yeah. Well, once again, we want to thank you guys for joining us. If, uh, if uh, people want more information about uh, family farms, of course, they can always check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. And we want to thank our good friends over at True Point Cooperative for being here with us today. Guys, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. And we'll be back with more in Ohio Country today right after this. I'm Terry McClure, a fifth generation. Hey, that's going to do it for this week's edition of In Ohio Country Today. If you'd like more information about this week's show or any of our previous episodes or you just want to drop us an email, check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. That's inohiocountry.com. Have a good day, everybody.